We've got a major update to a story we first told you about earlier this month. Scientists have confirmed a major helium discovery in northern Minnesota. Scientists from around the world converged on Babbitt in St. Louis County to a dig more than a half a mile underground. At 2 o'clock this morning, the drill reached its depth and found a high concentration of the gas. There was a lot of screaming, a lot of hugging, a lot of high fives, and uh, it's just nice to know that everyone's efforts, it, it all worked out, and, you know, we, we pulled it off. Our Jonah Kaplan has been keeping a close eye on developments up north. Yeah, he joins us now, Jonah. We're so excited. We had to bring a celebration <laughs> balloon. He Is brought it? the biggest prop he could. And there's more to it than just uh, wanting to show off this balloon, but in reality, what does this mean? They were excited. Why is this such an exciting thing specifically for Minnesota? Right. Well, I think when people think of helium, they think of balloons, they mm -hmm. think of blimps. And in reality, the billion dollar worldwide market is about so much more. So you could turn. You That's right. So first, written? let me show you. Yeah, I do. Okay. So we have, I got this at Uptown Balloons. I wrote this myself. But uh, balloons, party balloons, make up just 3% of okay. the market. Helium is one of the most sought after elements on the planet. Why? Because Look it's used this. in rocket ships, aerospace, semiconductor production, cryogenics, don't ask me what that means, but <laughs> welding, and MRI machines, if you can believe it. Cryogenics is freezing, freezing the bodies. So well, there you go. Deep freeze. So listen, listen, helium as a gas, we all know, okay, and I'm sure as a teenager or beyond when you suck it in, you have fun with that. But when you compress it into a liquid, helium is the most effective and safest and most affordable coolant around. So anytime now we're dealing with AI, we're making all these chips, helium is what's used to actually cool the machines to keep them running. And that's the same with MRI machines. Okay, and I've got breaking news. Apparently, Jonah, you've won the, the award for the biggest prop <laughs> of the year for the board. Uh, but I do want to ask you something, because you went up there yeah. and talked to people. This is such a big deal, and there have been so many jobs lost. Mining so controversial. I mean, is there any hope of really actually seeing this translate into good jobs for those great people up there? Well, that's the idea. And yeah, I can keep holding this and it won't be so awkward as it go keeps <laughs> going. But oh, you want to hold it too? <laughs> sure. I, I think what's interesting about this is, you know, the U.S. used to be a leading exporter of helium. There used yeah. to be a, a government owned mine and reserve in Amarillo, Texas, but they've actually sold that, given up wow. the private equity. So the biggest exporters right now, Russia, Qatar, and Tanzania. Hold your hand up if you've heard those countries in the news lately, and not for the right reasons. Right. So if we can have a mine here that provides domestic production to do all these other things, and in Minnesota, by the way, we have semiconductor uh, processing, we have some of these chip manufacturers, you're talking about an ecosystem of what could bring big business. And the, fellow, the uh, gentleman who's uh, the, the head of this company, he's from Britain, but he's been living in Portugal and Tanzania. He says he's going to be the only foreigner working here. So because he wants to have, he said, a lot of local talent. So people oh. in the Iron Range, Babbitt, uh, the only really wild card to this is that because they only know about mining for metals, gas mining isn't in the DNR's purview. They haven't have any regulations they, they about, about it. Yeah. Yeah. We got about right. 10 seconds left. What's next for these researchers? Just Are they putting up shop there for now? Great question. We'll tell you tonight on WCCO News at 6. Well, he's got props. There he, he, knows go. how to, he knows how to tease, tease. it. You got to watch Yay. people. Thanks, Jonah.